Hey everyone, I'm Mike Rafael, also known as Hastro. I'm the uh, founder, co-owner, and chief gaming officer at Envy Gaming. And today on Roll Q, we're gonna talk about our Envy Valorant roster. Oh my God, j the champion of this one. Make it happen, FNS behind the gen. That's gonna be a tough shot for an operator. j goes down. No HP for both. Cypher on Cypher action. Both are wearing their caps, so it's gonna be easy to shoot the other one. It's gonna be the right click jumper from FNS. The Red Bull clutch coming in to take the round. I love the move to switch for the classic. That's so small. So when we heard about Valorant for the first time, the, the first word that came to mind is Riot. It's Riot Games, right? They're, they know how to do esports well. Great publisher and, and game developer. And uh, we were really excited to see what they were coming up with uh, with the first person shooter genre. The product was awesome. When uh, we first saw Valorant, we were just like, yep, this is a game that we need to be involved in. Uh, and then all the other stuff was just icing on the cake because the game looked so great. So when we first started scouting rosters for the Valorant team, I really put the uh, responsibility on our GM, Tailspin. So Ronnie Dupree, former professional gamer himself, he's been a professional gamer in multiple games, including Overwatch, a standout guy the entire time, every time he you know, showed up to play for our team. And so we made him the GM of our Valorant roster, and he has a really great eye for talent. I mean, he's been around pro gaming for around a decade, I think, and has been a player himself. And so we really trusted Ronnie to go out and hand select the best players possible and it was constant communication between our team operations department and Ronnie to end up choosing the players that we ended up choosing. So the majority of our, our Valorant players on our, on our roster are, are former professional Counter-Strike players. And you know some of them made it to the very top and, and some of them didn't. A few of them were just showing really great skill early on in Valorant. I, I'm a firm believer that you don't have to just base somebody's future performance off their past performance. And I think a lot of our players got overlooked by the entire community and a lot of the other organizations. Even though we were still pretty early on, there was definitely opportunity for other orgs to sign the players that we signed. I think we just did a really great job scouting and understanding what we were looking at when we were vetting out which players we were gonna sign. So former Counter-Strike players, uh, there are a lot of them out there, but only a few of them can really rise to the occasion when it comes to Valorant. So the first player I'm gonna talk about here on the Valorant roster is Vaness. He is an amazing uh, in-game leader. The guy is uh, essentially the guy that's uh, call him the shots for the team in the game. Uh, he comes up with a lot of our strategies. He's a, a former professional Counter-Strike player, was, was one of the best players in North America for, for a long time. Is kind of the core uh, player that we went and grabbed to form the team around. And so uh, he's been a staple for us. Anytime you see our team pull out some sick strategies or you see our team make some crazy calls in the middle of a round, it's usually F FNS that's uh, popping off with the good calls. So Finesse is really one of those players that's uh, cerebral. He's always trying to have his eyes all over the map and trying to formulate strategies in the middle of a round. So he's definitely our Cypher main. He's playing uh, Cypher a lot. And that agent really gives your team the ability to gather information and uh, communicate to the rest of the team what, what the call should be. So Finesse is naturally that guy for us. So Mummy, he's our opper. He's a fantastic opper. He's super quick, crazy flick shots. Uh, does a lot of amazing dashing with Jet to avoid you know, getting taken out, gets in great positions with the op. He is also just a highlight maker. The guy can, you know, pull down two, three kills in a round and pretty quickly with the op and, and, and pretty much carry uh, a lot of rounds that we win. He's definitely one of those players that is electric and the fans love to watch him play. So uh, Mummy's that guy and when you're, when you're watching our team play that usually creates a lot of highlights with the op. Caboose is an insane aimer. I mean, insane aim. He is one of the best players I've ever seen at tracking headshots. That's not something North American players are, are typically known for, but he's one of those players that just has a natural tendency to, to click the heads. And you'll see him pick up some insane clutches. I mean, really crazy stuff. He'll have three or four people entering into the bomb site from different directions, and he's able to somehow pick up two, three, or four, all four of those kills, you know? when a team's trying to, to enter onto a bomb site, He's already created like a lifetime of highlights in the first few months of Valorant competition. Just go check the guy out. If you just go search Caboose Clutches on YouTube, you'll, you'll find a lot of Caboose uh, making highlight plays that people all, all around the world can appreciate. So Caboose is, is, is also our entry fragger, typically. He's playing agents like uh, Phoenix, Reyna. He's playing the agents that are, are, are really there to, to get frags and, and to try and enter onto the site when we're on the attack. and. He's there to, to lock down a, a site on first contact. He's really that guy we look at to pick up a lot of frags. So Food is one of our newest players on the Valorant team. 
Uh, what can I say about food, man? Is this an electric player all around? Uh, very aggressive player. Food, food likes to play aggressive, likes to get in the face of the other team, is always trying to make an impact for us in terms of fragging ability, uh, playing omen for us a lot. Uh, I would say that's my favorite agent to watch food play on. Uh, he makes some pretty crazy omen plays. Somebody that you can always count on. He's just kind of that rock that, that's always gonna be around to uh, be aggressive and, and throw off the other team. So Crashies uh, is a player that I love on our roster because I think Crashies might be, it seems to me he's like the most versatile player uh, on our roster. He, he's really able to just be a, a role player in, in all sorts of different positions. He can play aggressive, he can play passive. He's very cerebral, he, he's always thinking, you can just tell. He's one of those players that's outsmarting the other team constantly. He's somebody that you can just rely on. So a very versatile player, that, that's how I would tab Crashies. He's just that player you know that has the, the smarts and the wits to get the job done. So anytime I enter the team's team speak, it, it really seems to me that uh, our communication's really on point. The guys are getting along really great as a team. We've had a ton of early success in the last you know, four Valorant tournaments. We finished second, second, first, and third, fourth. So we've made top four in four consecutive tournaments, all the largest tournaments in, in North American Valorant esports right now. So the team's having tons of success already. And uh, the, the one thing I can say, that this team is really focused on is just making progress. They're working really hard as a team, very organized, very structured in their practice. Everybody's showing up, trying to get the job done every single day, and that's what I love about our Valorant roster, and it's probably why we're so competitive and taking down a lot of these other uh, teams in, in Valorant Esports right now. So yeah, guys, that's, that's the Valorant roster for you. It's a team that uh, we're really excited about. It's a team that's gonna get the job done because they work so hard. It's a team you can get behind. They're just one of the most talented rosters out there in the world. You know they're gonna show up every day trying to grind and, and, and win these trophies. So if you haven't already, jump on the bandwagon and watch our Valorant team smoke everybody. A little bit of the use of utility here by Caboose. Goes straight in, looks for the back, onto the rafters, for final to his right. What kind of havoc can he wreak in this position though, DDK? <laughs> oh, oh no, my God! Laser onto Neptune's face. Two kills this thing, that's how you get it done. Now Crashy with the Sheriff. That's the point down to all, and he is delivering in space. She's is taking a very different angle of approach, and Crashy puts the bullet in the head of Sinatra. It's all up to Caboose now. Can he do it? Finds one. He's looking for another player here. He's gonna go to half. Does he get the shot? He does! What a oh, Caboose! What a play!